Okay y'all, so it is Saturday morning. I'm working on finishing up this book. I'm like 20 pages from being done. And then I have a little spinner wheel that's going to choose my next read. So I've called it my weekend wheel. I put a bunch of books on here that are either like um, neck alley books, audible novellas, um, buddy reads, books I want to finish that are also from neck alley, channel member picks, some library books, part of my April TBR, um, all kinds of different things. So I'm going to spin the wheel and see what book I'll be reading after the one I am currently reading. I got The Exception to the Rule by Christina Lauren, which is an audible novella. Okay, so this one, it's part of the Improbable Meet Cute collection that came out for like Valentine's Day. And I still had it um, in my library. So I was just like, let me get through these. They're really short. This one says it's an hour and 56 minutes at normal speed. So this will be something easy to knock out. And then I can roll or I can spin for my next book. So let me finish. Tell me three things. just finished the improbable meet cute novella called the exception to the rule it was so cute i gave it five stars um basically this follows t and c you don't know who they are just yet but uh c accidentally sends an email to t and he thinks that he's sending it to his teacher but ends up being this other person and it happens to be on Valentine's Day, like 2013 or 14. It was a really long time ago. Over the years, <clears throat> they only communicate on February 14th. So it's kind of like that November 9th vibe where they only talk once a year, but um, through email. So they just kind of update each other. And eventually things happen where they may figure out their identities and it just gets super cute like it's only it's a really quick novella like it takes maybe an hour or two depending on like how fast you read or listen to books but I listened to this on 1.7 speed so I finished it um, rather quickly but I highly recommend this one so it was a great one to start off with the weekend and I did finish, before before I did start that one, I did finish this book and I gave it three stars. There's nothing wrong with it. It was very cute. So I've just read two really cute books back to back, but this one was very like YA, which I don't know, maybe I just don't rate YA very highly. It's not one that I'm gonna keep around and reread, but I'm sure somebody who maybe is in the age range for YA would probably enjoy this a lot more. So I am gonna unhaul this one. Uh, but overall I enjoyed it. It did have some different themes of like death and grief and stuff like that, but 
Um, it was very cute. Kind of had that whole email thing going on as well, where um, she didn't know who he was, and at the end there was the big reveal and happily ever after and everything. So I've read two email books so far. So I'm going to pick my next book. And I've just been working on my diamond painting over here, which I'm almost done with it. So hopefully one of the next clips you'll see it being finished. So I'm going to go ahead and spin my weekend wheel. I get to read Swift. So, <laughs> it's funny. I don't know why I wrote this as Swift and Saddled. It's supposed to be Saddled with Finesse. Um, new release. I think I was thinking of, um, I think literally right before I wrote this one in my wheel, I was thinking of done and dusted and for some reason I keep thinking this one is swift and saddled but no 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 so this should actually say saddled with finesse so I'm going to be reading this book and I don't know too much about it so I'm gonna um I just got this in the mail today like well it came last night but I picked it up out out of the mailbox this morning so this is one of the covers and in the book um the author sent some bookish stickers as well as um, just some little flower flower cutouts and stuff that these could be used as bookmarks and then this really cute little little postcard here it's not really a postcard but a little graphic um, alternate graphic and I just love this is just so cute I love it so all I know is that this is going to be on um, the Alpenglow Ridge it's set in Alpenglow Alpen whatever I did get my book signed by the author, and I know that it follows Reese and Corey. I'm gonna read the little synopsis on the back here. So this is a cowboy romance. Um, I think it's like listed as romantic suspense, but it says Reese. It was just supposed to be a welcome home party, a few drinks to celebrate my temporary return. Then he showed up, Corey Whitfield. I don't have time for any of his complications when I have so many of my own. If only my body could remember that. When he offers to take me home after one too many blue colored mixed drinks, I try to resist him. I really do. Somehow we end up sharing a kiss that makes me break all my rules. My past is dark and my future is even more murky. Someone who I thought would make my dreams come true proved to me that relationships are only worth what they can give you. Getting involved in Corey is dangerous for both of us, but he showed me that what I thought about relationships was all wrong. Can I protect him from what haunts me and keep the love he's shown when my past won't stay behind me? And it says, Corey. Uh, all I wanted was a fresh start. I'm tired of trying to be everywhere at once. My sons deserve more and I'm going to give that to them. Aunt Jan wants me to stay with her in Alpenglow Ridge for the summer and try to pursue my dream of starting my own landscaping company. My first contract is with a cattle ranch. It's going to be my ticket of gaining the trust of other potential clients in this town. Everything was going well until I met the angel that saw me more clearly than any other person has in years, Reese Mason. She is out of my league, stunning and sexy beyond measure. She's the type of woman who makes men lose their minds. Her reputation is hard to escape, but I can't believe those rumors. This woman is unlike anyone I've ever known. Just one kiss and I'm sure I will do anything to keep her. Will my love for Reese be enough to save her from my past? So I'm going to get some little horsies in the back here. But I'm so excited to read this book. Um, I'm going to read with my eyeballs because it just came out. So I don't think there's an audio book. So uh, yeah, I'm probably going to go shower and then I'll sit down and read up in the loft. But very excited. Okay, so I just opened the book and it says... Hi friend, this is a romantic suspense novel that is suitable for mature audiences only as it includes alcohol use, profanity, sexually explicit scenes, and violence. There are darker themes in this book that may be sensitive to some readers. For a list of potentially sensitive content, flip to the end of the book. 
Please note that some content warnings may spoil the story and some plot lines. So I will, I'll put up a little picture of the potentially sensitive content um, and I will hopefully not ruin the book for you guys. Just see her so beautiful and sweet with her hair and her actions more tame. She's probably less damaged and has a nice family, but my brothers would have loved you the same. Just working on a puzzle, another puzzle, while I'm listening to uh, Saddled with Finesse. And I'm currently 90% of the way through the book. And no, there is no audiobook. This is me having Siri read to me on the Kindle app because the book is available via Kindle. But so far, I am really, really enjoying it. I want to save all of my thoughts until when I'm finished reading and then um, I'm actually going to pick my next book on the spinner wheel just in case I don't finish reading this before I need to leave this morning because I have to go meet with a friend. Um, but I have like 60, 70 pages left or so. So I'm going to pull up the spinner wheel. Okay, let's see what I get next. Ooh, Where You End by Abbott Kaler. This is a net galley book that I also happen to have on audio via Everand. I got this book via Aardvark and I also have the net galley arc. And I think this is like a mystery thriller of some sort. Okay, it's relatively short. It's like 318 pages or so. Okay, so it's a thriller mystery horror. It says when 22 year old Catbird wakes up from a coma, she sees her mirror image, Jude, her twin sister. Jude's face and name are the only memories Kat has from before her accident. As Kat tries to relearn her history and identity, she trusts Jude will provide all the answers. But as the months progress, Kat begins to fear that maybe Jude has been lying to her. Recruit, hump, perform, or perish. 
Growing up in a sophisticated new age cult, isolated from society, the girls studied poetry and literature, but also played dangerous games of cunning and savagery, games with dark lessons that followed them into adulthood. Now with Cat's mind as a blank slate, Jude invents an idyllic childhood in the hopes of erasing this history and all the threats it still holds. As Cat pulls at the threads of Jude's elaborate tapestry, those threats draw closer. When the past and present finally converge, the twins must risk everything to save both their unique bond and each other's lives. It's an unforgettable tale of intrigue, revenge, and moral ambiguities in the quest for redemption. So there's like some suspense in this, which is good because I'm like really in the mood for a thriller mystery, especially because I've been reading a lot of um, romance lately, but this is this is really fun. I'm getting a good variety of books, so I will be able to listen to the audio when I go drive today because um, I have to drive like 20 minutes away to meet my friend and then 20 minutes back, obviously, and then, um, yeah, I'll just be hanging out today listening to books, so... Um, I'll be done with Saddle with Finesse in about an hour or so, and then I'll just switch over to listening to Where You End, and, um, I'll let you know my thoughts on Saddle with Finesse when I'm done. Okay, so it is like, what time is it? It's like 2.30 in the afternoon, and I have finished Saddled with Finesse. I actually finished it this morning. I did start listening to Where You End by Abbott Kaler while I was in the car, and then I had some work stuff that I did for a couple of hours, so I haven't listened to too much of it. Um, I have the audio on Everand. Currently, I'm on chapter four, it looks like. So, let's see. Oh, great. This doesn't have chapters, it's just title names of the people. Okay, but I think I know where I am pretty early on, like 20 pages in. Okay, so basically, I finally can update you guys on this book. This was great. Um, I think I'm going to give this four and a half stars. Um, so it started off with, uh, so we have our main characters here. This is Reese or Riesling, like the wine. And then this is Corey. So Corey is the father of three young boys and his ex-wife, Vanessa, which I was like, oh, great. I'm the bad guy in this book. My name. But anyways, so him and Vanessa had split up and Corey mainly takes care of the kids because Vanessa didn't want to. He ends up moving to Alpenglow Ridge, which is where this whole story takes place. And they call it AR throughout the book. So basically in Alpenglow Ridge, we have Corey there and then... Reese is from AR, and she ends up going back after some some ex drama, which I don't want to spoil too much because that's a huge premise of the story. But there's some like jealous ex stuff, some like wanting to be in control stuff, and um, she is like dripping in finesse. Apparently, she you know lived the high life and um, you know got bags, money, travel, whatever she wanted. Anyway, she meets Corey, and, you know, what happens in a romance is they fall in love, right? So, you know, it follows their romance. There's some spicy stuff throughout the book. And then there is, like, a, a suspense. So it is kind of uh, in dabbling in romantic suspense a little bit, um, which is only at, like, the very last little bit of the book. So it's maybe, at like, the last 10% of the book or so, but it was still pretty good nonetheless. But overall, I'm going to give this four and a half stars. I really had a good good time reading this, and I finished it pretty quickly, which that's usually indicative of me really enjoying a book. So if you're looking for a cowboy romance where um, there's some romantic suspense going on, Saddle with Finesse. This is by Z. Kaylee Galan. If you want to snag her book, it is available on KU right now, but you can also get signed copies of her book on... Etsy shop which I'll leave all that stuff in the description below. Where You End is a very different <laughs> vibe. Um, this one I feel like what's happening and maybe I'm not understanding it correctly is Kat has a accident of some sort. She gets a traumatic brain injury and her twin sister Jude kind of like tries to give her this corrective <laughs> childhood where like maybe there was a lot of bad stuff that happened in childhood and she's like lying to her about 
No, it actually went like this. I think that's what's going on right now. Um, but yeah, I, like I said, I'm only like 20 pages in, so I don't know too, too much yet. But I will update you guys a little bit later as I get further into the book. So I've been reading Where You End, and I'm just absolutely confused. I'm 51% into this book. And it's these alternating timelines between Kat and Jude, uh, between now and the past, and like, there's some sort of like stuff going on in Jude's, Jude's chapters that I don't understand. So I try to look up some reviews and I think there's some culty stuff going on. But what I do know so far is that Kat got into some sort of accident, has a uh, brain injury where she has amnesia, can't remember like her past. So Jude is telling her and filling her in on all of her childhood, which apparently might have been bad. So she's trying to help her sister out, but you know, there's some like moral aspects of that. Right now, I don't really know what's going on.